Hey everybody, Jordan here with Fantastic Microbes and where to find them. Boy, is it good to be back. It's been a while since I've made one of these videos. Uh, hopefully you'll be seeing more of these. Anyway, we're exploring the Jordan River today. And as you can see, it is frozen solid. So we're going to be taking a look at microbes on the ice, under the ice, and maybe even within the ice. So let's take a look and see what we can find. So this is my first time sampling out here in the winter time. I normally come here during the spring and the summer and that's where I tend to find a lot of stuff. Uh, this river is about probably five miles from my house so it's the easiest place for me to collect microbes and stuff. But uh, as you can see it's not so easy right now. So we're gonna find a couple of places where the water is a little bit more accessible. That's cold. So it's kind of hard to tell, but this is all stuck to it, stuck to the ice here. And so I did my best to scrape off only the parts that were really attached to the ice. And I dug, you can see, Tiny little hole in there. I'm trying to get as much as I can. Bonus points to whoever can name these paw prints or the animal that these paw prints belong to. This is going to be harder than I thought. All right, I got my three samples here. Um, the one that's closest to me uh, has the, the one that's underneath the ice. The one that's in the middle is the stuff that was attached to the underside of the ice. And then this one was the best that I could do. My hands got really muddy, uh, but just uh, some chips of ice uh, that were from the top. So let's uh, bring these back home and see what uh, is in here. All right, so I'm going to do these in reverse order because it's a little bit more exciting that way. So starting with our surface ice, there was just a lot of debris. Um, you can kind of see there's a little bit of single-celled algae, but mostly it's just junk. Oh, there's a little guy. Hi, little buddy. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, there was not a lot living on the surface. Next up is our sample of stuff that was attached to the ice. Now, in this one, we definitely saw a lot of more living things, like this little guy. I'm um, not sure exactly what it is, but it looks like a, a red bell pepper to me. But it's definitely some kind of rotifer, and you can tell by its head. In this sample, there were a couple of copepods, also known as cyclops. Uh, these guys are pretty cool, uh, kind of microscopic crustaceans. There were also a bunch of ciliates in this sample. Uh, just little guys that looked really fuzzy all around. Honestly, I'm really surprised by how much I found in this sample, especially the variety. I mean, this was all found inside of the ice and attached to the ice. So it's pretty cool that these guys were all able to survive. Last but not least, let's take a look at the sample that was underneath the ice by about two or three inches with some algae. Now, I've grouped a bunch of these guys together. So first, we're going to be looking at some rotifers. Here's a copepod and a rotifer just shooting the breeze together. And here I found a species of stentor. Now I have never caught stentor before, so that's kind of exciting. Uh, normally in YouTube videos I see a lot of these guys that are like really bright blue. Uh, so I had to double check just to make sure that this was in fact a stentor and these guys uh, do come in brown varieties as well as yellow and red. So here's a couple of them swimming around. 
You can tell that they are stentors because they have a really long kind of trumpet-like shape. Here we've got a nematode, my least favorite out of all of the microbes. These guys just creep me out. I don't know why. And here are a couple of small things that I wasn't able to identify just offhand. I, I do have a reference book that I'm going to take a look at and I'll probably post what I think it is in the comments. If any of you guys uh, are microbe experts or protist experts and you know what it is, go ahead and put it in the comments and let me know. Now, I saw some familiar things, and I saw some unfamiliar things, but this one is the greatest mystery of all to me out of this video. Um, this guy in the middle uh, kind of looks like he's hibernating, uh, which might make sense because it's in the winter. Now, I'm going to keep a hold of this uh, sample vial, so in case I see more of these guys, uh, we'll see if they wake up and what they, look up, what they end up looking like. Uh, but I don't believe it's a stentor. It might be, you know, some sort of tardigrade. Uh, but it is alive and it is moving. And other than this creature, which looks like it's hibernating, the only other thing that looked kind of cold was this little dude that was kind of shivering. But then again, that's how a lot of protists just kind of swim around. So, anyway, thank you all so much for joining me on my small adventure today, and I hope to see you next time where it's hopefully a little bit warmer. Anyway, see you around.